So this is going to be part of my dinner, part of my meal prep. I'm going to make some keto enchiladas. And I'm starting with my ground beef. I'm going to brown this and season it up really good. And I'll be back. So in here I have my seasonings and as you can see this is browning. I have salt, pepper, I'm going to add some garlic salt, some onion powder, a little bit of basil and thyme to this. Here I have my uh, vegetables uh, sauteing for my meatloaf. I like to saute my vegetables a little bit so they won't be so hard. Um, I'm getting ready to add a little bit of garlic, like I said, and onion powder to this. Okay, so here's some onion. Here's some granulated garlic. I'm gonna mix all of this up really good. Add a little bit of chili powder to this. Let it simmer a little bit more. <laughs> mm, that smells so, so good. Now I have some of these carb mission balanced tortillas. These are the ones that are the 19 carbohydrate 19 gram carbohydrates uh, dietary fiber 15 grams and so that's going to leave four net carbs but like i say i count total carbs 19 grams so these are just too high to use so i'm trying these i went and bought some crepini and these are some zero net carb egg wraps 30 calories per egg wrap and as you can see, it has one and a half grams total fat, no carbs, and three grams of protein. Egg white, egg whole, cauliflower powder, olive oil, let's see when that get come back in, sea salt, xanthan gum, spices, citric acid, and of course, some eggs. So I'm going to use these today in my... Keto enchilada casserole. Okay. Now in here I do have my um, onion, I have some green bell pepper, and I have some celery. And like I said, I'm sauteing these. They're almost as soft as I want to get them to put into my meatloaf. I'm going to move this from the fire also. And I added a little bit of taco season. I had about half a packet left. So I went ahead and added this, that into my uh, meat seasoning here. And I'm going to mix this up really good. Then I'm gonna get ready to start layering this and go ahead and put it in the casserole dish. Let me go ahead and make my enchilada sauce. Okay, I'm going to take my vegetables and I'm just going to add these in here to this pan. And I'm still trying to do this with the one hand, you guys. So let me see if I can get most of them out this time. Let me put them in here. Okay, this is my enchilada sauce and I just use canned uh, enchilada sauce. Um, I use the red enchilada sauce and I'm just going to heat this up and use it like I would if I made it from scratch. Okay, so I'm taking some shortcuts. I'm going to let that get hot. I said, like I said, these are the tortillas that I will be using today. This is the first time that I have used these to make uh, enchiladas, but I feel like they should be okay, and I don't think anybody will know except for the one who is coming to the kitchen and seeing me using these. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I actually have most of my stuff ready, so I'm going to start layering everything in the pan. And um, I got to get some assistance with this. Just a moment. Let that cook off a little more. And let's take my wrap and put it in the pan like that. Mm. If this is hot, I'm going to see if I can get another cup on. want to get it in the oven and get everything going. But when you do this, you really should let it cool off. Because it looks like it tears pretty easy. Okay. And I'm just going to take my wrap. Mom! Now you can do it a little bit neater than me, but I just want to make sure I cover the sides there. I can stand dirty my hands like that. So. From here, I'm going to take. Senator Ted Cruz. If it ends up that Biden wins in November, I some of my sauce. Week after the election, suddenly all the Democratic governors, all the Democratic states, and the state, 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 and the state,
More than 53,000 people have been evacuated from their homes in California due to the Caldor fire. It's consumed more than 82,000 hectares. That's all I got. Okay. 104,000 Six was enough, so one packet of these huge size tortillas wrapped. We'll make one boat, one so. Okay, there's that. I'm going to put the rest of the meat on there. <laughs> On the Pacific Coast, shellfish are literally being cooked alive on beaches in western Canada. Take a look at these images. Massive flooding. For the first time in recorded history, the National Weather Service is issuing a flash flood emergency for all five boroughs of New York City. More than seven inches of rain. All of that. Okay. Put this on here. And I'm going to put the rest of the sour cream on top of this. Well, first let me get my cheese. Well, let's go to the rest. Mommy, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to i Okay, I think that's everything for that. Now I'm going to spread this out as much as I can. Like I said, this is good to go as far as I can when I have. <laughs> okay. I'm going to top this off with some less cheese. Vaccine boycott to quote further increase social tension. Is that because the COVID 19 vaccine is based on the use of fetal stem cells in their development? Okay, I'm gonna top this with the rest of the enchilada sauce. Ooh, I don't got that much of that in there, please. I guess I could open another can. I'm oh, small can. I know. I'm gonna put on my thing either. Okay, I'm gonna add another can of enchilada sauce, and then I'll be back and show you the finishing touch before I pop it in the oven. Okay. Okay, now these here are breadcrumbs. I'm gonna stick them in the oven and let them get uh. Uh, crispy or crunchy and these are going to go into my meatloaf now this is from my protein spring modified fasting Italian bread and like I said I'm going to stick these in the oven for a little bit and let them uh, get crispy okay and this is my casserole I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven I had some more I didn't have any more enchilada sauce so I've used what I had I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven at around 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the cheese is starting to be golden brown on top. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven right along with the breadcrumbs. Okay, so also I'm doing uh, meatloaf as part of my meal prep. In here I have my ground beef and I'm using 85, uh, 85.15 I believe it is. I have some diced mushrooms some diced celery, bell pepper, and some diced onion. I have um, some breadcrumbs that I'm going to add, and the breadcrumbs that I'm adding is from my Protein Spring Modified Fasting Italian bread. So what I had left over, and I'm going to um, add those in right now. Okay, now here are the breadcrumbs, and I had just cut them up and put them into the oven. Because I wanted them to get a little bit crispy, you know, and drier. Because they were very, very moist as far as what I had available. There are my breadcrumbs. Remove that. So here's my breadcrumbs. Now I'm going to mix all of this together. I'm going to add in an egg. Let me go ahead and add that in now also. Let's see if I can do that one-handed. And I'm just adding in a whole egg, okay? Um, 
I'm going to add in some seasonings right now, like some garlic, some onion powder, and a couple of things, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that I'm going to mix together in here. I have added my seasonings here on the side, which is garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of Italian seasoning, some salt, some pepper. And I'm getting ready to mix all of this together in this container by hand. Then after it's done, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the loaf pan and get ready to pop it in the oven. I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. I'm going to add some uh, sugar-free uh, tomato ketchup to this. Okay, I'm going to add about four tablespoons at least. So I'm just going to get down in here and mix this all together. And you know what? I think I'm going to stop and put on some gloves to do this. Okay, so I'm going to mix this together really, really good here. Once I get this mixed together, you all, I'll be back as I shape it and put it into my low pan. Okay, so here is my meatloaf. This is all done. I got it in the little loaf pan i'm going to go ahead and pop it in the oven also for about 40 45 minutes and then i'm going to check it and see how it is but i'm going to bring all of these these two dishes out at the end um like i said this is part of my meal prep and this is also for us for dinner today the enchilada casserole but we have an enchilada casserole and then i have a keto meatloaf okay Okay, this is my enchilada casserole, and it came out good. This is what we're going to have some of this for dinner, and then I get to put some away for my meal prep. But see, I used the, the large casserole dish today, too. Okay, and I still have my meatloaf in the oven, and this is all part of my meal prep. And you can do the same whenever you're cooking, make extra. And that way you can put some away for yourself to have to eat later and for you to enjoy. And like I said, I just made everything keto today. And that way I don't have to worry about making two separate meals. I don't think that they'll be able to tell the little subtle differences of the dish. We'll see. I'll let you know how they feel about these egg wraps after they eat them. Okay, so here is the casserole dish. This is keto. I can't wait to dig in. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my meatloaf. I just took it out the oven. You can see it came out really, really good. When I cut this, um, I'll let you see it. I'm not going to cut it until tomorrow. But these, that's what we have left after dinner. Have to survive COVID too. For businesses that want to reopen, for my friends at work, I wear my mask for you. This meatloaf is delicious. Let me tell you something. So good. If you have enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe box below and that way you won't miss any videos that I make or share. Thank you.